Hey, this is the Fight Nerd, and I'm here now at Jack Specific New York office with Andrew Koval. Andrew, how are you today? Very good, very good. How are you doing? I'm good now. Toy Fair 2011 is going on in New York City this week. A uh, whole big, long event. You guys have been going crazy, I'm sure, the whole week with this stuff. Yeah, very, very busy week for us, that's for sure. I can imagine. Now, here we're going to talk about some of the new UFC figures that are coming out in 2011. So, Andrew, what's uh, new? I noticed the first thing, actually, is that you guys have new packaging for the figures. Yeah, we have uh, new packaging for the uh, our deluxe figures and for our Ultimate Battle 2 packs. Uh, we're also doing face scans for all figures in 2011, so that's uh, obviously a, a big thing to bring, uh, uh, the I guess, the true real facial features of every fighter. Uh, and then we're going to be incorporating some chaser figures in our basic octagon. So, uh, that's what's new. Uh, that's what's new for 2011, and uh, I think you can expect to see some some new fighters and some, uh, I guess, new figures of people associated with UFC. You mentioned those chaser figures uh, in the ring and also in some of the belts you showed me earlier. Uh, so explain a little bit more about what's going to be uh, with those new cages and the new belts. We're going to be incorporating chaser figures like this uh, Rampage Jackson from, the, if you can see this, the Rampage Jackson, uh, an Ultimate Fighter Edition, as well as possibly a Chuck Liddell. And uh, you might even see Ariani and uh, Dana White included. So there'll be limited chaser figures for, I guess, the, the you know, make them hard, hard to get. Uh, is there going to be any chance of seeing a pride ring? I think we saw a prototype a while back, but I haven't really seen anything come out with that. Uh, the pride ring has been put on the back burner right now. We're really focusing more on the on the basic octagon and and uh, you know doing different versions of the, the octagon. We will be uh, continuing to include pride figures as well as UFC legends uh, and WEC fighters in you know the assortment mix. I do want to ask about accessories, since that's something that does, we don't really get necessarily with a lot of the UFC figures, but the one thing we do get is championship belts. Now, are we going to see a figure-sized belt for, let's say, the Pride Fighting Company or perhaps WEC? And in that coming, well, we've already got WEC, but Pride is what I want to know, and also the classic UFC belts. Uh, that's definitely a possibility. I think it's something for the collectors to keep their eyes out for in 2011. Now, can you give us uh, some inside information on what are going to be some of the new faces we see in 2011? That I can do. Uh, you'll be seeing uh, up and comer, or I shouldn't say up and comer anymore. You'll be seeing John Jones, so his figures coming out in 2011. Uh, Roy Nelson. Uh, you'll, I, I mean, I think at this point, I think it's fair to say you'll definitely be seeing a Dana White. Uh, I know we're working on a Bruce Buffer, um, and different variants of, uh, I guess, some of the popular fighters, such as uh, there'll be another Brock, another Tito, and we're trying really hard to. Uh, have Randy Couture included in uh, an assortment mix come fall 2011. I know Randy's had some issues with his likenesses. That's what's been holding it back, is just him and his likeness rights? Uh, there's, it's been a little things, but uh, we, we want to make sure that Randy is 100% uh, you know, happy with his figure. We want to make sure we're doing it the right way, and uh, we think we'll have that uh, accomplished by the end of this year. Now, you also mentioned that Roy Nelson figure, which I'm really looking forward to, but i got to ask, I am too. is there going to be a new body sculpt for Roy Nelson? Uh, I will let the collectors wait and see, but I think they'll be pretty happy with, with, with what we do for Roy. Uh, definitely a unique physique for, for, the ultimate, you know, for, for UFC and compared to other fighters, but uh, uh, I think uh, the collectors will be pretty excited with what they see. Now, are there going to be any more exclusives at any UFC fan expos through the year, maybe even San Diego Comic Con? Yeah, you can be on the lookout. Right now I can confirm at least uh, two. Uh, you'll be seeing uh, a George St. Pierre exclusive. Uh, that'll be released around, the, I would say, the summer time frame. And you'll also, you'll also be uh, seeing a Rampage Jackson exclusive. And that will either be, uh, I can't remember if it's late spring or early fall, but you'll be seeing an exclusive Rampage. Can you tell us what these figures are going to look like and what's going to make them so different from the others? Uh, <laughs> I think it'll be uh, just uh, some unique accessories that'll be included, uh, as well as uh, whether it's fabric shirts or you know belt accessories. Um, you know if it's die cast, you'll be seeing some pretty cool accessories and a pretty awesome looking figure for these exclusives. Well, Andrew, how do we stay in touch with Jack Specific? We have our uh, Jack's uh, Facebook page with uh, with all of the UFC Jack's Facebook page that'll you know post a lot of updates, and you'll be able to find out a lot of you know I think upcoming information you know uh, using that outlet. Well, Andrew, thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate oh, it very much. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the Fight Nerd signing off from Toy Fair.